Welcome back, guys, to Tales of Asperia, where a go has run away, and we're about to go and catch up with him. However, as we find that we can walk anywhere we blimmin' well want in town, and I thought this was the cut-off point for a certain side quest that I know are out there, it turned out that I cannot go back the way I wanted to. So this save file here that we're playing on now is a completely different loaded-up save file with some extra side quests done in. Those extra side quests are assured they are ready for us to experience. So, with Rago waiting, we will catch him. But first of all, let's see exactly what we've missed. Basically, the point I should have gone at, as soon as I left Emmied Hill, I should have started backtracking, because there's a side quest that you can miss that is a very permanent missable at the end of the game. So, with that said and done, let's go back and fight Katuso again. No, we've already beat Katuso, And I beat him with the secret mission again. I beat him with the secret mission by accident. So let's experience the side quest that we missed, get up with the continuity that is now part of the new save file, and go from there. So, first things first, it's time to back back here. You know, I think it'd be better if we turn back. How come? This is where that broken blast year is. I know that. Come on, let's go back. The night's finest, we'll get in trouble. I just want to have a look at that blast year. I'm just going to look. You might get caught. I'm not that much of a klutz. Rita! Hey now. Eh, Katarine. Eh, Katarine. She named that Blastia, didn't she? She named me by the look of it. I'm your Katarine now. All set? Yes. There's nothing that I can do for her. It's just too cruel. I mean, I understand that Blastia are very valuable items, but... It's not about how valuable they are. Countless people have given their lives to make human civilization what it is. And Blastia have been living together with mankind all of that time. And more just a simple tool that we use. Well, it's certainly clear that Blastia are very important to Rita. Yes. If you're all finished here, we should be on our way. Okay. Thank you for the gift of a Sir Bowclaw to Cedric. But that was number one thing we missed. Of course, you do remember me heading back this way when I originally came to Emmett Hill, when I originally came this path, and it said, no, we can't go that way because the guards. Literally, the trigger is, as soon as you leave, you can go back. And that starts. How are you supposed to know? Obviously, super pack knowledge. I'm glad that I'm approaching this game, not as a first playthrough, but as something I've played through more than once. So, with that said, we still got a little bit more backtracking to do. So let's pop a holy bottle to keep enemy away for a certain amount of time. And then leg it on up here as more sub gifts come in to Suti from Do Ditches. Thank you very much. Uh, because there's an event right over here as well. I guess I was too busy uh, just jumping past getting treasure chests to say to myself, what the hell is this? What's this supposed to be? Is it a grave, perhaps? A grave in a place like this? Actually, this is just the type of place I'd expect to see one. What do you mean? You know, like the grave of someone who plotted against the Empire and failed. If you wanted to bury somebody and keep it quiet, you want a place like this with no one around. Huh, wonder if that's what I've got in store for me. Wouldn't you just chuck them off and not leave a grave marker? Just saying. Don't say such things. That isn't funny. I wasn't exactly kidding. It's just a fact of life that some folks from the lower quarter never get a funeral or a proper burial. And what happens to them then? They get cremated and have their ashes scattered over a river or a field, usually. Are you telling the truth? How do we get started talking about this anyway? Because we're trying to figure what a lone grave is doing in a place like this. Yeah, so just who does it belong to? Well, that's something we'll find out maybe in the future. From here, we've got to go all the way back to Halur! So bear with me a little bit, but along those lines, I think I'd prefer to be getting cremated than any other reason. Anything else. I don't know why. Do you put thoughts towards what you want your end of times to be like, in a sense? To me, cremation's just about space saving. Those cemeteries, they're getting a bit full. It's about quick, ease, simple, not expense on the family that I'm passing and leaving behind. I think that works out for me. I'm going away. No, get your tail out of my face. A bit of a grim. It sounds nicer and your body becomes fertilizer faster. It's probably a good point. Well, enemies are going to get in my way. So let me take this 
moment to get familiarized with the combat again. He says, getting hit in the face by a ladybug repeatedly. Right. Go away, giant beetles. Ow! Well, if I do the stretch and field now, I should be able to hit that guy too. I'm holding block. You want revenge? I'm using too many arts. Oh, sorry. Were you going to have a go at me there? Well, the magic guard we've already learnt in the main continuity save file. But that should be the last enemy in our path here. So let's go this way. All is always the practical ones. Well, you know. I just don't want to cause, like, the main, the main reason it'd be cremation and all that. I don't want a like, luxurious funeral or anything like that. Just really low-key affair, costing barely anything, is what I'd prefer. That money should go on to my next generations, not should be used to make some kind of weird tomb to my greatness, or something like that. I don't know. Everyone's got their different views on these matter. Speaking of views on the matter, hello. You're the two we need to speak to, aren't you? No, I tried. I tried. If you head for the sea from here, you can't help running into Emmy Hill. They say there's the remains of some monster in the grounds about halfway up. The story goes that this monster was as long as the trunk of the tree of Halur. Big, right? Not long ago, I caught sight of a gallant man on my way home from the port city. He was tall and slender with silver hair, but he was headed into the mountains and nobody's seen him since. He was far too handsome to be a hermit. I wonder who he could have been. What, hermits are allowed to take care of their beautiful good looks too? And so we got ourselves a bit of information about that. So those are the three quests that I managed to miss by not going back in a small bit. It seems the cutoff point for this was about the time where I beat Rigbro. I should have gone back then, really, at the cutoff point. But if you know what I mean, you're pretty much locked into the game sequences that take you past that point within half an hour to be cut off from it. For the first time, you can actually start the quest to the time that you can't go no longer do the quest. Half an hour. It's a little thin. Future Tells games, of course, tell you when something might be somewhere else. This game just has you kind of wing it. It's a lot of missables in it. So with that said and done, we have ourselves gone back. It's time to move forward once again, proving somewhat how missable some things can be. And I missed it within the stream, but it is part of the save file before we continue on with the power of editing. There's an old man here at the top of the tree of Allure who has himself a sub event too. Showing the importance of speaking to every single random NPC as you go. Let's see what he has to say. Red. So very red. This year's especially bad. What's the matter, Mayor? Oh, you're back. What about something being red? Oh, it's just that this year's flowers are an especially deep shade of red, so I was thinking the curse of the caged Emperor's Bride must be particularly strong this year. But I'm just joking, of course. Who's this Cage Emperor's bride supposed to be? About 300 years ago, the Emperor at the time, Brimstone IV, planted a tree on the perimeter of Halur's barrier. He lived all of his later years shut up inside his castle, so people looked, took to calling him the Caged Emperor. It's always so educational to have you around, Estelle. But what does the Caged Emperor's bride have to do with this tree? Legend has it that the Caged Emperor murdered his fiancée and buried her corpse beneath the roots of this tree. The tree gets its red colour from the murdered bride's blood which its roots absorb. P what the hell? It's really nothing more than a legend. Of course, there's no way a tree could keep sucking up someone's blood for centuries anyway. Yes, but I'm worried that this macabre tale will spread and drive potential visitors away from our town. Um, um, then don't you think it's a bad idea telling it to travelers like us? I, uh, oops. Okay, forget all about that story I just told you, could you? How are we supposed to forget something like that? If you don't forget it, the Caged Emperor's Bride will hold a grudge against you! C cut it out! There you go again. You're just reinforcing the legend. Oops. There's no way that story's true. Well, is there no way the story is true? Well, let's continue forward. Back to the stream. Back to Port Capuanor. With a crazy music that's about to contain all the waiting of battle. But that said again, we're going to leave for a little bit. Because, of course, we haven't gambled just yet. We're going to win the gambling. This is what we're going to do. Rover goes not far off, though. The other thing is that back at the shops over here, there's more stuff to synthesize. So the only difference between the save files, I think, is just the fact that those quests are done. 
And Yuri's an extra level. So that's a thing. That's a thing. 400 tries later, yeah. Are you ready for this super gambling? Are you ready for me to win first time? Come on. Give me your luck. Give me your spirit energy. I don't know. Let's synthesize. Because there is more stuff to synthesize now. I think chainmail wasn't synthesizable before, but everyone is equipped with that. So that's all good. But what we're missing here is down the bottom, apart from this heavy maul here that's just waiting for 700, we're going to turn Carol's stuff into raw material. Sure. The heavy maul, give him two new abilities. There is a lot of stuff for repeat. So one of which is the Kogarashi plus one, which allows him to learn skills that will pretty much nuke his damage. So you don't want to be using it just yet, some could say. Or to be honest, you could put Carol in and have repeat in the back line so we can actually learn it for a period of time. But these are interesting abilities that can help later on. Apart from that, we've got a leather whip just waiting to be used in the bat lines. And he also can make himself an Oka plus one. No, Tamagani plus one as well. So we can boost his magic a little bit more. So let's give him that. And get the Kogorashi plus one as well. And I think that's all that needs to be done for a new talent learning for people. So that's all good and done. So let us... Let's move Repeat out of the party for a period of time. And we'll even have Carol in. Carol, you can actually get some playtime. It's a miracle, right? Right, so he's got the Heavy Maul already on. So that's all good. And we'll put on for you, we'll put the Kogolashi plus one. Half damage, quarter damage, minimum damage. You don't want to be using them when they're learning that. Trust me on that. You do not want to be using them. This is where he somehow gets in. Right then, Gamble Lord. We're going to win this time, right? We're going to win. Are you ready for this? Fingers crossed. How long is this going to take? High or low? Ooh, okay. This looking good. Looking good. At least I made it past the first round this time. High or low? Yes! Okay, I'm going low. I'm going low. Come on. Luck be a lady tonight. Even though it's less chance for it to be low. Damn it! Oh no, that worked! Ha! Ten is low! Yes, ten is low. Oh wait, how is ten low? <laughs> okay, I got gel set. Yay! Too bad you didn't do that well the first time you tried. Sh shut up, Yuri. No winning against me in two tries is still quite an impressive feat for a young girl. Yes, because of course it's a renew save file and I only did it once. See? Now, for your prize, a delicious kiss from yours truly. Ha! Fooled you? No, I'm gonna give you the title of new master. As news of my defeat travels, new challenges will appear. I'm going to steal your glory. Stay strong and don't lose Rita. That is the new stone-taking master, Rita. To be continued next time in a new assassin lurks. To be continued? That's not likely. Ho ho! Ho ho! Well, if you ever feel like it, you're welcome to join me in my hobbies. As Rita learns the new Dice Master title. Sure. At least I got it first try on stream. Hey! <laughs> After failing... Was it five times I fell before? I don't remember. I should probably save after that. Make sure it's all got and done. Don't question the fact that 10 is not high and it is low. Now I'm used to... I've been conditioned to walk through this door instead. No joke, I've actually been conditioned. Right, so let's save here. I'm going to save on a new save... New, 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 new save file. I'll save over the old save file. Yes. Job done. And I'll just make sure to check again. But I made sure to get the Wonder Chef in this save file. Good. Life is good. We can move on. So we're back to where we were. Rocco is running away. Only uh, 12 minutes, 30 minutes or so was taken away by a little bit of off the path cuff doing of stuff. Now it is time to chase Rocco down. The catch up. The catch up, man. I mean, it's a let's play, not a walkthrough. I hope someone wasn't using it as a walkthrough and he goes, Now you tell me I have to restart the game! I really hope someone wasn't. Sorry if you did. 
It is less. It does say let's play. <laughs> it does say let's play. <laughs> I think ten is close to the lowest possible outcome. The highest. Three times six is eighteen. The lowest is three times one. Oh, I guess that makes it. If you count it as as base numbers, then ten would be low. Yeah. It's because the variance between three and eighteen. You're right. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. But I won, so I'm happy. Amazing jumps. Amazing jumps. These are all Blastia cores. Why are there so many? And they're all just cores. I have no idea. We don't even have this many at the laboratory. Could this be connected to the core thief? Could be. But I thought the one behind everything was a huge guy with one eye. That doesn't fit Rego at all. Then he might not be the only one pulling the strings. I wonder if the core from the lower quarter is here someplace. Sorry, none of these are big enough. I knew it! These guys are with the Blood Alliance! They're one of the five master guilds! Ah, straight in the bow! Right, new enemies all about. Maybe I should have bought myself some new gels and whatnot, but it seems I'm maxed out on them anyway. Magic lenses we have a few of. It's a bandito. Did he miss? Did he try? Did he steal from me? I'm con confused. Oh, the destructo pain shot looked pretty good. Let's just run away a bit, get some distance. And even spinning that guy around didn't do any extra damage there. But Rita's nuking them from the back lines. Are these guys connected to the Blastia Thief too? Just what is the magistrate up to? I do like your monstrous pain shot there. Out of my way! Was that spineless worm Rago running from a bunch of kids? One-eyed giant. So you're the one getting people to bring you all these cores? Maybe I am. You're quick, and you got guts too. My arm's gonna feel that. Wish I had you in my guild. How flattering. But it's pushy guys like you I have to watch out for. Upsets the harmony of the guild, see? Nothing personal. Barbos, what are you waiting for? Dispose of these brats. I did all the work you paid me for. Besides, the knights will be here soon. Rather not have those guys following me around. Next time we meet, Overwards. you kids Super won't be getting off so easy. <laughs> Wait, he's still inside. Damn. Soggy, we'll leave the rest to you. Who is it? Who do I get to kill this time? You're the one from the castle. Looks like we're stuck with this guy. My blade, it aches to kill. I've got to kill something. Kill the boat. Whoa, go easy on me this time. And here we go, boss time. I wish I knew the secret mission for this one is basically to knock him off. Kill me. Go ahead. Which is a bit of a nightmare in and of itself. But I know the easy way to do it if we want to go for it. That said, I'm not actually trying to do that. But still, let's get our magic lens out on Zagi first of all. Trust me, I will. As soon as he gets up, Zagi, level 22, which is quite a bit nicely above us. 
31,000 HP. It's going to be a nightmare to deal with. As I miss terribly. I don't want to get anywhere near him while he's doing those spins. Where's he gone? I broke his shield at the right time, but Carol didn't really follow us up in a nice way. It's what I would like to have happened. Instead, I'm just being knocked around as Zagi goes between two points. I really shouldn't have got up at that point. Missed. But to be honest, the more time I block... And let other people go around doing stuff, the more time it still gets to heal. That said, it still got really messed up then, as I spend most of my time jumping around as usual. Oh, I nearly got him! And that's how we do it. I thought I'd go for it, now I've got him in the corner. Why not? Let's do another secret mission. <laughs> He's right there. Let's blast him off. Now he hates me really much. It's quite nasty considering we've been losing HP like a plenty at this point. Oh! I'm, para I'm paralyzed. I need to move away to be able to unparalyze myself. But everyone's using items stopping me from doing anything. a lot of damage going around the place. I just need to heal myself from this first so I can join him. Sometimes I need some spells from Rita. I'm trying to block. That's me. Alright, we have a low party. And I'm not going to have the aggro currently. Overlimit's going to make things worse. Because, of course, everything bad's going to be happening. Everyone's trying to use apple gels currently. You know what would be a good idea? If you use nice ace slash, would be brilliant. First aid comes out. Of course, Zagi goes mental on it. Finally, we got a little bit in, but Carol's just not being aggressive enough. Yes, it's dangerous. Oh my god, she just got away. I just need some guys to basically attack to keep him the stun lock once he goes down. There's a nice A smash. Right, heal yourself in terms of... Oh, we don't have anything there. We're running out of TP. I just need Carol to be doing a little bit more himself. At this point, being so close to everyone is not good either. See, that's the way we want. We want to get in a gap where I can keep spinning him around and then other people can attack. It seems we knocked him enough that he's gone mad mode and I've jumped up, which is an accident again. If I can keep using that, and yeah, we don't want to be all close to him like that, that's silly. Not now! He's nearly dead! No! He's so close to being dead, it's unreal. I can't see his HP, it's 2000. Yes, nice ace smash is good. I got another heal. Attack me, attack me, attack me. I broke your shield, I just need someone else to get an attack in. Can spin him again. Finally. Just kind of. More of attrition. A little bit. 
but the secret mission is completed. Getting us, I think it's some extra grape. It might be some extra experience as well. As so barely, I need to buy some more TP restorative items as well, so I can get Carol going with more nice aid smashes for a fight like that. Bazagi is finally defeated. Paralysis Ward and a few escapes oh, game. I feel so okay, sure. As well as a few level ups. Just about. Well, you put up a good fight. I... I retreated. <laughs> You're tough. Yes, tough. You're definitely tough. I certainly won't forget that, Yuri. I'm going to kill you, Yuri. I'm gonna carve you into little pieces. Don't move a muscle. <laughs> Full. Who's that? Yoder! What? You know him? Look! A boat! We're saved! Hey! Over here! It looks like everyone made it through unharmed! <laughs> Master Yoder! Wait! I'll pull you out! Sonia, give me a hand! So, we reach the port town of Capua, Porim. I owe you my thanks. You saved my life. Hey, who is this guy? Um, well, you see... I've made arrangements at the inn. We can discuss things further there. He'll come, won't you? And this is the reason why I thought, ah, this is a brilliant cutoff point for last episode or last session, because I can go back and do those side quests. This is what I remember happening. We are cut off now. We are long, long away. A new place. A new place to explore. Well, a little freaked out by it, though. I thought you were done for when the ship sank with you still on it. Seriously, I was pretty worried there for a minute. I'm glad you made it. It sank faster than I thought it would. I was a little freaked out myself. You almost died and you were just a little freaked out? There's something wrong with you. Only a little freaked, yeah. Just a little bit. Let's explore a whole new place. And not be able to get back on the boat again. Right. The Empire's warships are wonderful. The design, color, and cool nights. I'm in love. But didn't you see in the cutscene it doesn't exactly sit right? Like, isn't... Shouldn't more of the ship be underwater? It's kind of like just floating in a way that looks like it would just topple to me, but then I'm not a master of ships. Oh ho ho ho! Our ships are delight. A ship allows one to travel to very many places. Freel's mystery spectacle! All mine. And thank you, Rakuda, for the follow a little bit ago. Welcome to the channel. You came on an Empire warship? Are you some kind of Imperial big shot? You don't really look it. Oh, I'm completely a big shot. This is the Fortune's Market Stock Warehouse. It's a mess in there. Trust me, you don't want to see it. I do! I really do! Why don't you let me go as we get ourselves another skit? Zagi. Yuri, you sure know a lot of strange people. Like that raven guy we met at Kapua Noor, or that Zagi weirdo who attacked us. Weirdo is putting it mildly. What's his deal, anyway? That's what I'd like to know. It's nice to have fans, but this is ridiculous. It looked like he went down with the ship, though. Maybe that was the last of him. 
I don't know. Common sense just doesn't seem to apply to those kinds of people. Man, I really don't want to see him again. Well, even if we do, he'll be gunning for Yuri, not us. I've got nothing to do with this. We'll deal with that when the time comes. By the way, Wasagi as well. I'd love it if the secret mission of blasting him off the ship actually ended there. Like, it just ended the battle. That was a, a win condition. Because you shouldn't be able to get back on. The ship will have moved away a little bit further as well. Like, the ship would be sailing. So he'd not be able to catch up in the way that he did. But whatever. Zagi's Zagi. And we'll just leave it to him zagging around the place. Ah, huh, there's a big fish in the background. I wonder what that could possibly be. Yes, the glasses were what disguised you the most. Guess you found me. You're pretty good. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. Ha ha! We learned the recipe for fried chicken and fries. I'll give you this so you can practice. Obtain three more sets of ingredients for the recipe. Gotta go, till we meet again. That was actually a decent illusion. Yeah, it's not a bad one, considering. I guess the whole moving and standing upright thing was a l the most giveaway part of it all. There was something exploding on the sea. What could it be? It was Ozagi blasting off again. I've seen quite a few men row off to sea in a boat. None of them has been back since. Oh. Out on the sea, I heard a terrible noise. I can see a lot of smoke. Could it be an accident? What are you talking about? I'm talking about us again. I need to kill something. Instantly kills a boat. The lightkeeper's house is locked. Mentalist Zagi is mental. Can't go over there. Nothing to see over here. But then you say that. It might just be nothing to see yet. We're going to close down the Capuanor port. And now we can't even run our liner service. What's with the rolling of the R's? We're the famous and fabulous Toledo liner service. What? I can't roll R's. I think rolling R's is the talent. It's required to speak some languages after all. Uh, yeah, it's not not within my uh... replacing R's with W. Sure, I can do that. Torum Orphanage is written on the side of the entrance. A lot of children are playing and having fun inside. As we stare into an orphanage. Where's the inn? The sailors in my day had a bit more zest to them, you know. Young folk nowadays are good for nothing. Ah, uh, they're millennials. Again. This port is the bridge that connects our guild to the world. We're going to travel across the six continents and rule the entire world. I think the Empire might have something to say about that a little bit. What's a lottery gel? You can use it to get various effects. The various effects are a lottery. There's a cat over there. <laughs> my, my cat sensing ability has come in. My friend moved to a town called Heliod. It's supposed to be a new town the Empire made. Well, we'll have to go there then. Welcome, welcome. How'd you like to sell me some of your memories? One memory, five gold. Huh? Too cheap? Huh. You mean tell you stuff, right? Welcome, welcome. Plenty of healthy catches here. Thanks for dropping by. Okay, we didn't actually do anything. Far from this continent to the west is the den of our gills. They call it Darngrest. Visit sometime. I'm sure we will, Mr. Telling us everything about it. I want to go down the slide. Can I go down the slide? For science? My life is ruined yet again. I can't even reach the cat. Why is this game stopping me doing everything I love? And this is the Fortune Market HQ. <laughs> Sam, aren't you a millennial like on the older topic? Yes, I am. That's why I'm allowed to use the word humorously. The breeze that blows in a port city makes everything feel so different. It smells like the sea. Stand in the ocean wind too long and you'll get covered in salt, you know. Thank you for ruining my mood. Hey, feel free to get all sticky and gross. I won't stop you. But once you're sticky and gross, you can legitimately have another shower. That way you can have five showers a day. Many suns to be sung. This town is so nice to live in. The people are kind. The weather not too hot, not too cold. And best of all, the president isn't here. Ah, I think I know who you mean, don't you? Kaufman, this is Fortune Market's headquarters. The president is not here right now. What do you want? Well, I abandoned her way back, so... I know where she is. There's a monster invasion. Maybe you should deal with that. This is Kaufman's room. She might not. She might have a fit if we go inside. How would she know? 
I'm just going to tell her, right? <laughs> Zero out of ten game can't go down the slide. Cat pet the cat. God. Cat petting. They always let you pet dogs in games. But not enough cat love. Fortune's Market used this town as the base of operations. There aren't any heavy taxes like in Capuanor, but there are a lot of restrictions on business. Torum feels a lot more like a port city than Nor did, don't you think? Yes, it's lively, and the port is full of ships. That's because Torum is run by Fortune's Market. They control shipping all over the world. I'm pretty sure Fortune's Market has their headquarters in Torum. I guess business can keep a city running if people wanted to. I never would have thought of that. What? Business? That's what the world goes around. Money? Yada yada? You know? Yuri? Come on. The Synthesis Boy! Kozakala! Do you want to know more about Synthesis? About your casual ear grappers? Oh. Synthesizing with equipped weapons just makes them your equipped weapon. Materials dropped by bosses. Some stronger enemies might drop raw materials needed for synthesization. This type of raw material is likely to yield some good items. For instance, you can create a poison charm with 50% poison defense from an antibiotic material. Come check back to see if you can use these raw materials to synthesize something special. Sub-weapons. Now that's the interesting point here. Do you see the section titled Sub under the equipment menu? In addition to main weapons, each character can also equip a sub-weapon. For instance, Yuri can equip gloves and Rapide can equip collar-type items as a sub-weapon. Sub-weapons are extremely valuable and are not sold in shops. They can only be made through synthesizing. It is worthwhile to create sub-weapons. They have skills which you will find useful in your journey. Also, sub-weapons can affect the character's appearance. Try giving them a new look. Speaking of new looks, we do have a million of definitive edition costumes to unlock at some point in time. So maybe we'll get around to that too. The type of item you will most likely be synthesizing often are weapons. Yep, we know. This is because there are lots of skills attached to weapons. Old weapons are often used as raw material for synthesizing new weapons. I suggest you don't discard or sell any weapons that come your way. On the other hand, old armor is not necessary in synthesizing new armor. It is better to sell old armor first when short on gold. That's actually a really heavily good tip. You can synthesize a new item with the item still equipped. So say you equip a wood maul, you don't have to unequip it to create a wood maul plus one. Synthesizing can be done while an item is still equipped, but the raw materials will be used up. Before synthesizing a new weapon, it is a good idea to check whether you finish learning a skill first. That's some good, good information. Right, we got. Well, we can upgrade our Morningstar nail to a Morningstar plus one. Do we have the stuff though? A level whip can be upgraded to a level whip plus one. We can make a round shield, which sub weapon, I'm pretty sure. That would be for a certain lady. Glasses? Who's that for? It's a sub weapon. Is that Rita? Is that Rita? Child's sunglasses, or are these just attachments now? I think these are just attachments, right. Let's see what we can make then now that we've come over, though I wouldn't say we have. Oh, we do have money! Zagi gave money! Zagi's good boy. We do need to stay in inn at some point in time, however. That is a, a definite yes need to do. Welcome. You come to the only store in Torim. Guess that makes it quite good for you then, doesn't it? I would like to buy some gels, but I guess equipment first. In terms of buying equipment, of course, the Tamagani is so much better because the weapon that Rapide's currently got on. So there's nothing really to buy at this point. All right, what I'm interested in is how far did Rapide get on those with a boss thing? He'll be doing that for quite a while by the look of it. So, Rapides has a collar. Rita has a burning blood book. Buckler for Estelle, a normal sized bag for Carol, and gloves for me. It's about really just getting to be able to equip them, but everyone's learning something currently, so that's good. Right. So this is the sub-weapon side. Round shield. We do not have Tolbikian fish. We do not have Tolbikian water. We will want to come back here as soon as we do, though. That's for definite. What about the other weapons around here? The Morning Star plus one can be upgraded. Ooh, interestingly enough, with the Morning Star plus one, then, we'd lose the vitality thing. So now we've got to watch out about not making materials or not making weapons upgraded until we've definitely learned everything on it. That said, we have learned everything on that. So... Easy to synthesize in Morningstar plus one. We'll take roll and endure. Apart from that, lever whip plus one. Lever whip gives critical guard and defend. Lever whip plus one gives completely different stats. So we want to learn the lever whip stuff first. That said, I don't think you're getting close to being able to use it. 
but not close enough just yet. What else is here? And by the look of it, most of the rest of the stuff here is the stuff that we're either learning or we synthesize back over the other place. Well, the scarf plus one is what we have. Well, we're learning with the experience share. Heavy mauls currently be learned. Yuri needs some weaponry, really. Well, now we've actually got some money. Yes. That'll be good. A couple of these. That's how we do things. Right then, moving on. Do you know what these plants are? They're all indigenous to the Tobikian tropics. On this continent, strong rain falls frequently. So we're in Tobikia, where we're obviously going to get all the good stuff we need. Finally, we're at the inn. Explore the town thoroughly, he says. I was wandering through the forest and became lost in some old ruins. It was there I heard the unnatural howling of some frightful beast. I'm sure you did. Who are you? Oh, hello, you cuties. How'd you like a game with little me? If you think I'll be a pushover just because I'm a woman, you're gonna get burned. Where's, what's the game? I'll take that challenge. I found the wrong room, haven't I? Beautiful. You're in the inn, but you're in the right room this time. Well, I'll take some magic lenses. That would have been a good thing for me to buy earlier. Interestingly, there's a mat in there, even though there's beds in this place. I wonder why they keep a mat. Oh, what, just sit and kiss this parent and their child and their child wants to sleep on the floor? Yes, this is the best idea. There's a traveler's log, a place where travelers exchange information. Sunny, not being able to get across to Capua North the past three days due to bad weather. It's frustrating when the weather has been so nice here in Capua Torum. Strange that the weather can be so different when they're so close to each other. You! Yes? Have we met somewhere? Convenient time for amnesia. I know somebody who can fix that for you. Amnesia? I'm terribly sorry, but this is the first time we've met. Are you crazy? Magistrate, your crimes are undeniable. These people have seen everything. As I've just been explaining, someone had assumed my identity and was trying to ruin my reputation. It was most upsetting. Liar! I saw those people you fed to the monsters with my own two eyes! Well, Sir Flynn, who are you to believe? These young ruffians or me, a member of the council? Flynn. It's settled then. I bid you all good day. Who does that guy think he is? And who the hell is he? Settle down. This is... This is His Royal Highness Yoder, candidate for the Imperial Throne. Huh? <laughs> yeah, right, Estelle. Good one. <laughs> what? I'm only one of the candidates. It's true. With the passing of the previous Emperor, Master Yoder is a rightful heir to the throne. R really Yes. An alleged Imperial heir captured by a so-called magistrate. That's interesting. I see. Then this incident means that I... A little too juicy for public consumption, huh? I... I just... It's got something to do with your decision to leave the castle, doesn't it? <sighs> Do whatever you want. I've got no interest in an empire that just sits and does nothing while its people suffer in plain sight. Yuri. And what have you changed by turning your back on such an empire? We need just laws laid down by the government to ensure that people can live lives of stability and peace. Those same laws just let Rago walk out that door. Which is why you and I became knights, Yuri. To change things like that. If we couldn't make it happen by yelling about it from below, then we said we'd gain honor and trust, and fix the Empire from within. Remember? So, in order to get ahead in life, 
I'm supposed to stand by while somebody feeds little kids to monsters? Is that it? You want me to look the other way when our people in the lower quarter are being bled dry by taxes? It's because I can't do those things that I quit being a knight. I know, but has anything changed because you quit? <clears throat> How is anything different than it was before you joined the knights? Wait, I'm coming too! I've done it again. I only want for him to move on with his life. To quit sitting around. Flynn, I... My apologies for such an embarrassing scene. What do you intend to do next? Would it be alright if I go with him? Why? I feel like so much has changed during my travels with Yuri. The Empire, the world... I've changed as well. Lady Estelise. Understood. You there, young man. Who? M me Tell Yuri to take good care of this young lady. Okay! Is it really alright? I would rather do the job myself, but I'm afraid my current duties won't allow it. And as long as you're with him, I can be certain you'll be safe. You believe in him, don't you? I do. If you guys are finished, can we get going? We'll lose him if we don't hurry! Rita just wants Yuri so much. Damn, he knows how to get to me. I know better than anyone that nothing's changed. I guess I should look for clues about the Blastiacor. And so we parted with everyone. And punished rules, which is usually a very productive pastime. Alright, we're all alone. But we have some information, or we're about to get some information about how we're going to get some information. And talk about Raven while we're at it. The way he looks, Barbo should stick out like a sore thumb walking around in town. But it'd sure help if anyone saw where he and his gang were headed. Come to think of it, I wonder what happened to Raven back in Rago's palace. I guess he panicked and ran when the Dragon Rider and the Knights showed up. Did he? He was just still in there. He went up! He probably went to where the actual treasure was. The actual, actual treasure. Well then, uh, are we just going to walk around until they come and chase me down? Someone in town must know about the Blastia Core. Or start to quiz everyone. Well, if we're going to quiz anyone, we're going to quiz the person who looks like they stick out like a sore thumb in this town. I don't know anyone, as I walk past the slide, who looks like they might be new, but wasn't there before considering we talked to absolutely everyone. No, didn't see a thing. Hey, it's him. Huh? Hey there! Long time no see! Isn't there something else you should be saying? Something else? Hmm. Can't think of anything. Well, they say the deceived have better memories than the deceivers, don't they? I'm just terribly misunderstood. Honest. You need to see a doctor for your tendency to unconsciously cause trouble to others. You might see if you can get that foul mouth of yours checked out, too. You had a comeback for everything, huh? If you don't stop putzing around, the knights are going to throw you back in jail. Ha! <laughs> the knights are a bit too busy to bother with me. I saw a rough-looking guild group moving to the northwest not too long ago. The knights can't just turn a blind eye to them, can they? Rough-looking, you say? Was it the Blood Alliance? Beats me. By the way, what was your business back there? Nothing special. I was looking for an apatheia. What is an apatheia? Supposed to be like a really strong core. Heard that it was there, but I guess I had the wrong information. I see. An apatheia. Oh! Yuri! Hey! Over here! Ugh, I'll get you, old man! Hmm. Maybe I'd best be off now. Yep, the Amazonist has emerged. Wait! Damn it! I'm gonna be too senseless! Why'd you let him get away? 
He said he's terribly misunderstood. What? What does that mean? Oh, he got away! I'll catch that bugger one of these days. You should leave him be. Going up against that kind of guy is just a waste of energy. You all right? Just let me take a, a little break. Sure, you can have a little one. Then we've got to go. Go? Go where? We need to follow the Blood Alliance to get back the lower quarters blast you. Did you get a lead on where to go next? I heard that a shady group from a guild was headed to the northwest. It might be them. To the northwest of here? The only city I can think of in that direction would be one that was destroyed in an earthquake. What could they want to do in a place like that? Hmm, good question. And yet, you still want to go? I'm just saying we should go and check it out. So, everyone has returned. They want to go on my journey with me! Rita can't leave me behind. And Raven has now legged it off into the Neverlands. He's just terribly misunderstood as Becca went and chased him. And I do mean to say that. That would definitely be a Becca thing to do. Well, it doesn't seem to be anything else happening in town by the look of it. From a quick scope out. So let's see the skit destroyed by an earthquake. Hey, Carol, do you know anything else about that city you said was destroyed in an earthquake? Just rumors. Supposedly it was some guild's headquarters about ten years ago. Which guild was that? Sorry, I can't help you there. I've never heard of an earthquake that destroyed an entire city. Well, Ospio is across the ocean. Maybe the information just never made it that far? Hmm, I wonder. Hmm, I wonder. Well, can't go in the orphanage still. Can't go in the lightkeeper's house, I'm sure. Lightkeeper's house? Lighthouse keeper? That's the one. Mate, what? Well, if he's a lighthouse keeper, then he's the light keeper? He is the keeper of the light. Well, let's in ourselves, considering we're incredibly not very well at this point in time. And head out into the world, knowing that we've got to get ourselves a few materials just to be able to go onwards. Is Yoda and Flynn still here? No, they've actually moved on. Oh well. Let's rub the place blind then. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> Nothing under the beds. Nothing under the lamps. Just one life bottle. Is that all you can leave behind for me? Leave the good stuff. Leave the good stuff. Wow, what a strange group of people. A dog and even a couple of kids. They don't look like they're related either. That's the gateway to all of Tobikia. Captua Torim sees its fair share of interesting folks. A motley crew like theirs isn't too uncommon among all the guilds that pass through here. But I could swear that I've seen that young man somewhere before. You too, ma'am. To tell the truth, he looks familiar to me too. I wonder where I've seen his face. Your room is the last one down on the right. Have a pleasant stay. Sure, thanks. It's not going to cost me any money. I'll take it. Is the wanted man really hiding in here? I'm sure. I thought I'd seen him somewhere before, and then I spot the wanted poster. I immediately knew it was him. How? It's a terrible picture. I guess it's near enough. Have room up ahead, hmm? Alright, you stand back. Yes, of course. Hey, wake up! Hmm, what you want? It's the middle of the night. Not too much milk in my cereal. No, it'll get soggy! I said, wake up, Carol. We have to get out of here. The wanted man has three friends with him. They've also got a dog, so be careful. An imperial knight won't be beaten by the likes of a common criminal. Estelise, kid, wake up, you two. Alright, put your hands up and come quietly. Yeah. They got away. What was all that about? It looks like somebody snitched on us. Snitched? You're too well known for your own good, Yuri. Isn't guild influence really strong in Torin? Maybe that knight was overcompensating for how impotent he must feel. Sharp one. Yuri, that knight was just trying to do his job. I'd appreciate it if you kept your insults to yourself. Uh, I'm never going to be able to get a good night's sleep at this rate. Well, at least we got away about having well, getting caught, right? We'd be happy about that. Happy? It's annoying as all hell! The next time we stay in an inn, you can sleep outside with a dog. Shh. 
Sure. Rapide makes best pillow. Helpful. That's all we needed there. Right. So what was the materials I need to get as we head out into the world to synthesize that nice new buckler? Fish. Water. Fish and water. Tolbikin. In nature. Let's go. Rapide, you're going to be in the back party until you've learnt those new abilities. Have fun there. As we continue on at last. To the field! Let's explore Tolbikia. I'm sure there'll be a skit near enough straight up. Have you got a fish? That's King of Adventure over there. Don't get my way. Yeah, you thought you were sneaking up on me. Yes. Oh, she's got new spells. Stell's got cool spells. Okay, I'm gonna get some distance because I'm poisoned. Though I want to use a magic lens more than anything else at this point. Because of course we've seen the basilisk before, but not crab man. We haven't seen crab man. Well, destruction Pill will do enough, but that Photon is really yeah, good to have win. two offensive spellcasters. we got no topic in stuff. These are the that weave our future. But learn a new skill, so we'll take that. Alright, in terms of skills learned then, that's not your Gladius learned yet. you still got to learn more of Item Thrower. I want to switch to Morningstar, because that's a big magic boost. A big, big old magic boost. Ah! I think I'm bringing the map up then. Could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up. Oh, so supposedly we're over leveled now compared to the monsters. Based on these monsters being, of what course, the guys who are outside the place. I'll take the apple gels, though. That's good by me. Well, ah, yep, square brings up that. You can't use the sorcerer's ring on the world map. Must remember. I want Tolbiki and stuff. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I think you've nearly killed this one, haven't you, Rita? Yeah. Come on, Carol. Help me out. Don't make fish. So those are the guys we need to go for. Okay, we learned experience share on Rita, which also means we can finally change up a bit of her gear. So the scarf plus one goes off. The leather whip finally goes on. We can synthesize that once we've got that. We want a couple of these crabs, don't we? A couple of these crabs would be really nice. Don't get careless. Man, that photon does so much damage. Like, photon does 700, but that spread zero, I think, is the one Rita's doing as I start jumping around everywhere again. Yeah, I beat you in the next week. Spread zero does a lot. All right, that's two topic in fish. We still need two to pick in water, wherever we can get that from. Let's stay. Another King of Adventure. See if anything else is going on here. Uh, how are you? I guess I'm alright. Nothing? Alright, it's 50 gold. 50 gold is cheap enough. No events by the look of it though. So what's experience share? I think it gives extra experience to those in the back party. If you wish to know. Earn bonus experience without taking part in battle. You get experience anyway, but I think it just gives you a little bit extra because you can get bonus depending on how you do in combat so you can also earn the bonus otherwise you just earn a flat rate i think that's how it works i think that's how it works all right there's a bridge over there but it wanted us to go north i do wonder who i'm gonna get to pick in water from though This path to take over here. There's a lot of the map to explore, isn't there? Nope. You're faster than me. The enemies just plop up. At least we get to choose when we engage, you know? Oh, they went out of range of crushing you. Everyone's after me! This is annoying. You are the same old sorceress, aren't you? Fired in the back. 
Where is it? Well, I finished him off at least. Let's let you heal up now. Help, oh, fireballs! Drop your guard in bright time for that. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Ah, I just want to see the Tolbikian water appear at this point, then we can get ourselves a nice shield. I think the King of Adventure is actually blocking our way to get over that bridge. I'm not sure. Leave it to me. <laughs> nice block. Why are you using water spells on the guy that we've already examined to be not good to use water spells on? Rita. We'll never understand this, will we? And finally, Repeat learns all his skills. Carol also got his, so that's good too. There we go. Getting some nice new skills. Tamagani plus one. Magic up. Agility goes down, but a physical attack comes all the way back up again. That's what we're after. How much longer for everything else? A little bit. Alright, I think this is where we're headed. Into the darkness of the land. Man, could you be any weaker? Wait, are you the ones I've been before? Nope. I was wondering about the weaker statement. Let's use a magic lens here. A howl level 16. Or we're fighting enemies that were nicely above us level wise. I was thinking the spread zero would get them all, but obviously, yeah, of course, that's not going to hit anyone, is it? It's fine. We'll be protected by a certain lovely lady. I can just take hits, no problem. Is that enough? Well, oh, learn to buff the sharpness right at the start. Some more Tobikian fish there. No such luck with the water. Check repeat skills. He's got a ton. I mean, he shouldn't have the half damage and all that. Oh, no, he does. That's annoying. Nor did I really need to care. I didn't notice as soon as I got into the battle anyway. Right, you. you got to give water, right? Give me some water. Beautiful water. Guess we can do this. Thorn Wiggle. Weak to fire and winds. But able to be a very annoying. With just multiple attacks on one person. Alright, that's another one done. Come on, Rita, you can get him. Bubble attack. How are you not dead yet? God, you got HP on you. Alright, those are the guys we get water from. So if we see another one of them, we want to get into the battle. There's a uh, new monster here. Fireball! Don't get Why water? Build a shield. Because shields require water? <laughs> Blooming tank walking towards me. Let's kill these birds. Well, Rita just has fun with the tank over here. Tortoise the tank engine. I think it's never going to reach her, is it? Oh, I jumped over the bird? Poor tortoise. Well, we got the water we need. We can finally make the stuff. And I feel quite sorry for the tortoise who lumbered forward into horrible spell death. 